Hi, Timothy Younger here. In this video, I'm going to talk about another way to write blogs with Emacs, org mode, and tramp. Okay, so we can write a blog on a remote server using the org mode by creating an org file, so you really don't have to touch much of the HTML if you like writing your blogs without having to use HTML. So anyways, let's get started. So I'm going to fire up Emacs here, and I'm going to do control X, control F to find file. I'll delete the tilde and the forward slash and then do a forward slash. The method I'm going to use is SSH. I'll do a colon and I'm going to blur this part out. I'll do my username at my IP address of my C panel where I'm trying to access a colon, the name of the website I'm trying to access, which in this case is going to be timunker.com and then a forward slash. And that's going to get me to uh, the basically the uh, default directory. Okay, I'm going to hit enter, and it's not asking me for a password because I've already done this, and Emacs has saved the password. It's asked me, do I want to save the password? I've set that up, but the first time you do it, it'll ask you if you want to save it. That's up to you. Um, you know, there are pros and cons to that. If you have to put the password in each time, then you're less likely to delete something big, but I think I'm okay with it. I'm going to go now to blogs here, and I'm going to go to March uh, 2022, and let's do Control X, Control F, and let's create a file. Let's call this uh, test dash blog, and we're going to give it the .org extension. Okay, so I'm going to do .org. All right, and it's going to create a file. I'm going to do control X, control shift plus, just to get this a little bit larger for you. Okay, so now we're going to write ourselves an org file. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is do a headline. So I can do a first level headline with an asterisk. We'll say that this is a test blog. Okay, and then we'll go down and we'll start to add some things. All right, so I can write a paragraph. Okay, and... Um, if I just hit enter and have uh, this is the second line of a paragraph, because I don't have a space in between the paragraphs, it's going to just merge those sentences together uh, into one paragraph. Now, if I did want to have a line break, what I can do is, uh, right, let's say this is line one, and then I can do two forward slashes. Uh, this is line two, and this is line this is line three. Okay, so that's going to appear on separate lines. All right. Uh, you can do links. Let's see. So for links, um, what I can do is I can do the shortcut, which is control C, control L. And that's going to ask me for the address of the link. I'm going to just do Google here. So HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash google.com. Hit enter. After that, it's going to ask me for the description. So I'm going to say this is a link to Google. All right, and it shows up as a link in your org document. Okay, um, for images, uh, you're gonna do a link without a description, which the alt tag, when it generates, the alt tag generates basically the name of the image. So you may wanna go to your HTML after that and change it for accessibility purposes and for screen reader purposes, that kind of thing, uh, SEO, so on and so forth. But let's just uh, go to Wikimedia Commons here and Let's go here and find the Emacs logo. So go right here. Just search for Emacs, I think. And I'm going to go down right to this one. You notice I use this one in my thumbnails a lot. So I'm going to go to more details and let's use this file on the web and we'll get the file URL. So I'll copy that. Let's get this out of the way. And I'm going to do Control C, Control L, because it is a link I'm adding. Control Y to paste in that link. And I'm just going to hit Enter for the description. And this will show up actually as an image. It should, <laughs> as previously, when I've uh, done this. So this should show up this Emacs, Emacs logo. We can do tables. Um, so I do a pipe here. This is like table heading one. Another pipe, table heading two. And I can close the pipe, and then if I do Control C Enter, it's going to create the um, 
row below. So this would be table data one. I can tab to the next cell, table data two. Uh, tab, if I hit tab again, it creates another row. So then table data three, tab, table data four. If I just want to end this table, I'm just going to do control E. Just hit enter without control C or anything like that. Get out of the table there. Um, we can do lists. All right, so we can do an ordered list with uh, numbers. So list item one. Uh, let me do control L to get this to the middle of the screen. Do list item two. Uh, do list item three. You might not want to include all this stuff in your blog, but um, we can also do unordered lists. So this is list item one, uh, list item two, list item three. And then we can do like sub lists. So this is a sub list item one and so on. Now you can use asterisks for the link for the lists, but they have to be indented because otherwise uh, org will confuse that with headings. So just keep that in mind. So, um, okay, that's lists. Uh, what else would you want for a blog? Well, uh, yeah, I, th I think that's that's pretty much it for what I use for blogs. So anyways, so if I go to the top here, I don't have any export settings. Um, I can get various different export settings. So if I want to do, if I want to find that, I can just search the documentation here and I can do HTML export settings port mode. And then it should come up with uh, some of the HTML export. I think I want this one. Uh, so HTML specific export settings. So yeah, you might want to do a description. So if we go up here, we're going to put that up here. So um, let's do a title. So this is, uh, we'll do a title. And this is, um, I don't know, sample blog created in org. Okay. And then we'll do our description. And this is a sample blog created in org. Okay, we'll do, um, what else do we want to do? There's a couple other ones I want to do here. Um, doc type, I'll talk about that. I have the setting in my init.el for that. But HTML head, you can put um, a link to a style sheet. We won't do that just yet. We can do HTML head extra. You can do keywords, although, you know, Google, Google doesn't really... Um, uh, use keywords for SEO, but some of the other search engines might. So this is like org mode for keyword. We'll just separate them by commas. Org mode, uh, tramp, we're using to access the remote server, Emacs, uh, blogging. So we put our keywords in. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, we can do a link to our homepage. So we can do HTML link home and HTML link up. So I'll do both of those. So let's do uh, HTML link home, and I'll just do the home address of the website that I'm working on. Go check it out, shameless plug. Uh, and then also we'll do a hashtag plus HTML link up, and we'll do the same thing for that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna save this now, and uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to export it and I do that with control C, control E, and then I want to export it to HTML. So I'm going to do H and then as an HTML file. So H H. Okay. And I went ahead and did that. So now if I do control XD to get to dear ed uh, and do G to update it, you'll see uh, that we've got this test blog.html that was created. So I'm going to go to that and we'll see that the HTML is now generated from the org mode. Now I want to talk about this because we, it generates a lot of this text slash CSS stuff here. And you know, with that, you may or may not want that. Um, you know, uh, so we got a ton of this, <laughs> this free JavaScript stuff incorporated here. I'm going to tell you how to get rid of that in a moment in case you want to get rid of that. And then none of this code is indented. Um, it's just plain HTML. HTML does not need to be indented, but if you did want to indent it, you just do control X H to highlight the document, then alt control backslash. 
and that's going to indent your entire region. Now I can do control X, control S to save it and it's all good and indented properly. Now, if I wanna take a look at what this page looks like with the default styling and the default JavaScript they give it, it's pretty much 90s blog style, but I can talk about that in a moment. So we go to timunker.com slash blogs slash March, 2022 slash, uh, was it test.org, test-org.html, is that what I called it? Nope. Uh, what did I call this file? I called it testblog.html. That's right. right. So the test slash blog.html. Okay. So like you, like you see here, um, we've got, we've got a table of contents that automatic generates. Here's this images file that generates, and here's the rest of this. Um, I have a few things set off. So let me see if I can drag this out. Let me enlarge this here. So what you can see behind this toolbar, and let me move this. Okay, so you have this um, T Unker, uh, it's created, they have this validate thing here. Um, you can get rid of that too with some of the options. Um, and this looks very 90s style. So, okay, so that's what you're gonna get when you do this. But um, what you can do is you can bring in your own CSS style sheet. So let's go back to our org, org document here. And um, let's go here to testblog.org. Um, and from Reddit, I want to get rid of this, uh, all this um, scripts and stuff. So there is this Reddit post um, where you can add this in. Okay, so I'm going to do control C and then control Y. And that's going to paste in uh, these options. And I want want the uh, hashtag in front. So we have HTML styles nil, HTML scripts nil, HTML preamble nil, HTML postamble nil. Keep going here. Author nil, TOC nil. Uh, I actually think I want validate nil. Let me try that. Okay. All right, so we saved that. And so now if I do control C, control E, HH, to export it. So it's exported now. So let's go take a look at the file now. Um, so now if we look at it, it's been reloaded. So we're going to reload it on disk. Okay. So now we see all this stuff is gone. All that script stuff is gone with those lines. So I'll include those lines in uh, the, the description below because I'm going to look at them later and not, not find the, the Reddit post. Again, I could do control X H to highlight the region and then alt control four. Uh, backslash to indent it and save it. So now if we refresh it, it's probably going to look pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, fairly the same. You know, the picture moves a little bit, but it's basic HTML. You have your up and your home have moved to the right here. I don't know if you noticed that, but they were on the left originally with the styling. Um, but let's say I want to link in a style sheet. So uh, I'm going to do control XD here go back to my org mode here and do uh, plus HTML head. And I'm going to just do a uh, link in the style sheet. So I'm going to do link relation equals style sheet. Uh, and then the href equals, we're going to go up two levels to get to the CSS folder and go to style.css, which is a very basic style sheet I created. I'm going to do control X, control S to save that. And now I'm going to do Control C, Control E to export. Do HH. Okay, it's now exported it. So if we do Control X D uh, and go back to the file, it's going to reload it. And we'll see in the head that right below the closing tag in the head, we have this link right here to the style sheet, which is right here. Uh, I'll make this a little larger for you. So you can see that link has come in. And then if we go to the page and refresh, it does change slightly. Um, I have to do a few other things like include a container and include actually the Google fonts, which I could do with that HTML head option as well to include those extra Google fonts if I wanted to. A uh, couple more things I want to talk about here in this video. So I want to go here and talk about also we can include tags. So if I want to include a tag in my org mode document, what I can do is I can go to the head, the heading, and I could do Control C, Control C 
That's going to give me uh, tags if I'm on the heading. I'm going to control G to quit out of that. And if I'm right after it, I can do control C, control Q, which is also going to give me tags. And I could do tags like for this top level heading of Emacs, do a comma to separate the tag, org, and say tramp. Okay. Now it's going to put these tags, which appear right here. That's how you write tags, uh, tag in between the opening and closing colon. Now every uh, heading below that, so every other heading, which is a subheading of the, or subheadline of the test blog, is also going to inherit those tags. I could do separate tags here, like I could do Control C, Control Q, and just do links and maybe href, something like that. Okay, so that's a separate tag there. So I want to do Control X, Control S to save that. Control C, Control E to export HH, uh, to export it to HTML. Okay, I go here, if I refresh, uh, you're gonna see these tags show up, okay? So that's a way of organizing your content within a blog. Um, now obviously, this doesn't look that pretty, but if you did do a really pretty style sheet, you could, and there are ones online that you can use, or you can make it really look quite pretty if you wanted, wanted it to. Um, Okay, another thing I want to talk about is a couple of packages that can help out with writing blogs using Emacs and org mode or Emacs and markdown mode or anything like that, any type of writing that will help you out. And uh, so we're going to do Alt X here, and I have Melba hooked up, so I'm going to do package list packages. So that's going to refresh my package list. And it's going to take just a moment, and then we can install some packages. So now we've got our package menu is loading you can see at the bottom the message that it gives us and now it says package refresh done so i'm going to do alt x package install first one i'm going to do is wc mode so we're going to install that and okay and then the next one i'm going to do is olivetti and uh maybe it's olivetti oh i gotta do package install first so let me do package install olivetti so installed Olivetti, I'm going to do, now that I have those packages installed, I'm going to do Control XD to get back to here, go back to the org mode. Uh, so what WC mode, if I do Alt X and do WC mode, what it's going to do is it's going to enable the mode. And then when you go down, it's going to give you this line down here. It gives you the word count. So this is um, at word 161. There's 161 words in this document. So what it's basically doing is it's telling you a little bit of information of how many words you have in the document, which is important if you're trying to rank on Google and you want a 1500 word document. Okay, the other one is Olivetti mode. So let's do that. So we're just gonna type Olivetti mode, hit enter, and it's gonna bring it to the center of the screen. Now we can make this more narrow. I believe it's control C uh, and then, yeah, control C and then the curly brace will make it narrow and then control C and the um, closing curly brace will make it wider. So you can you can adjust the width with Olivetti mode. So if you wanna have it, you know, say this width, you can set it at that width very easily. Um, and that way you can center the text in the center of your screen. Uh, I think that's it for what I wanna cover with blogging with org mode. There's tons of possibilities. Um, if you want to look up more of the documentation, there are a million things you can do with org mode. So we go org mode uh, manual, I think is what we need to search. So if you do org mode and you look at the manual here, you'll see that you have all these things. You have tables, hyperlinks to do items that didn't cover that, but that's a thing you can do. Uh, dates and times, a whole bunch of different things. Uh, so very powerful this org mode is a very powerful tool for blogging um, and you can do this very easily with tramp and org mode just go online and blog on your remote server and create whatever kind of blog you want i hope you found this video interesting if you did could you give it a like as it will help get out to more people i want to thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one